All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. This is time for another review for you. This is the Pena and uh, Javi Gonzalez uh, Paramore. And uh, this is a cool one sent to me by Lefty EDC. So, guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And definitely, thank you for being here. Check me out on Instagram and a live stream Monday nights, 745 KF live okay so Pena Paramore guys we've got uh which you can see here if it would focus uh there we go is some purple fat carbon uh very nicely done I like how we got how we've got uh three different uh individual pockets here uh for that it is finished fantastically this has got to be Riot just based on what Pena usually does and on this knife, you got black DLC coated uh, titanium here. And then you have uh, one strip and up of uh, the same material over here. You do have a titanium uh, kind of bent clip here, if you will. Uh, single screw sitting down in the scale. Man, that black on black is really sucking the light out of this uh, the, the, for the focus here. But uh, you see we got about that much sticking out of the pocket. Not reversible, no lanyard, hole or pin. Uh, the uh, lock bar there for the frame lock is obviously titanium. You do have a steel lock bar insert. You have got some incredibly serious, uh, you know, lock bar relief here. We will talk more. Well, let's talk about it now. This guy goes in and out of the pocket uh, very well. Uh, sits in the pocket well, has good retention, uh, and carries extremely thin in the pocket, as you can see. Um, my only comment would be, uh, because this part sits against your pocket, uh, the outside seam of your pocket, when you pull this guy out, you feel like that, you know? So it is, uh, I think if you were to carry this every day, you would eventually tear the snot out of your pants but uh you know that's just me it is you know it just because of how close they are together uh by nature man it is struggling with this focus let me get everything off of here i can and keep it down low here that should help but uh it is just very very aggressive in that way now it is a front flipper only a lot of this blade is down inside uh the scale you have a black Titanium kind of almost, yeah, it is floating. Floating backspacer. Very cool. There's your stop pin right there in a good spot. Uh, you have very aggressive jimping here. And you can see if, again, I've said this a thousand times, if it's a front flipper, I can do it's a good front flipper. You have a great sheep's footy up swept kind of, uh, you know, belly blade here. Pena X series there. Jave Garcia's logo there. Did I say Gonzalez earlier? I think I did. Jave Garcia. Great. Sorry, Jave. Uh, you do have a very nice satin grind there with uh, horizontal on the uh, flats and vertical on the uh, bevel and kind of diagonal on that beautiful swedge. Uh, it is in CPMM4. Now let's, let's talk about something important and then we'll rejoin uh, the... Uh, review now these are apparently they were on uh Pena's website they, uh, there were tons of options uh they are currently sold out these were running 274 uh dollars and let's see i want to find yeah it was purple haze fat carbon is this one and it was in d oh no this one was 307 okay probably because of the dlc coating uh there are other versions uh, they all appear to be sold out, sold out, sold out. Let me just make sure. Yep, everything is sold out. But like the plain titanium one uh, was running 274, but again, the purple fat carbon uh, one was running 307. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. It is six and five eighths inches overall. Stay there, would you? Six and five eighths inches overall. Flat ground blade, three and three quarters inch closed, six and five eighths again, 0.124 on the blade stock. Uh, the handle thickness is 0.468, which is great. 2.6 ounces, steel lock bar insert, ceramic detent and bearings. 
um, and it is a front flipper, okay? Uh, now, guys, here's the good news. Six and seven eighths inches, and I get a full four finger grip. There is no jimping uh, where your thumb lands. Now, if you wanna pinch back here, the jimping is right there. Um, still accessible there, but that's the natural spot for me. You do have a very nice uh, uh, sharpening choil in your plunge ends quite early, uh, no problem there. And guys, this thing is just, I love the kind of inset pivot here that you can't really even see that well over here. And then here you have your tooling, just a gorgeous knife. And again, very small. And uh, back to, uh, well, let's do a couple of things here. First of all, we are locked up at about a 20. We are dead centered. Uh, again, front flip is really nice. Um, does fall and then shake down. Very smooth overall. And that detent is absolutely perfect. If, if I can get it to snap like that, uh, you're going you're gonna to nail it. It is, this is wonderful. This is a very, very well-made knife. You got some really hefty chamfers here. It is flat scales, but very hefty chamfers to give you a nice feel in the hand. Don't even really feel the clip for me. It feels great. Um, just a really nice knife. Now lock up, no lock rock, no blade play, locked up like a drum, no issues there. Um, where's my cardboard? There we go. Um, let's get this guy off. Goodbye. Um, all right. So you can see here it is flat, but man, it is just magnificent. Now don't forget M4 is a corrosive, uh, can be corrosive. I should say it's not resistant of corrosion as much as, uh, some others. And so, uh, and it will patina if you wanted to. Um, and, um, so definitely remember and bear in mind, uh, that you need to keep it clean and lubed and all that good stuff if you don't want it uh, to have any corrosion or uh, issues like that. So really, really cool. Now, for your comparisons, we're going to have our Ontario Rat 2. Uh, it is actually a little bit bigger. Um, and then your Ontario Rat 1. And just, I think, for a good uh, comparison of the thinness here, you can see it's just slightly thicker uh, than the Rat 2. And it is thinner than the Rat 1, okay? Uh, so a really cool, interesting knife. Now, at the time of this recording, I cannot find them in stock anywhere. Um, uh, I will definitely make sure uh, to leave you the link to the Pena website and maybe even to Urban EDC as they have had them. But this is, again, a collaboration between Javi Garcia and... Um, uh, Enrique Pena. So very, very cool. So I would love to hear what you guys think. And I am very grateful to my buddy Lefty EDC who adores this knife uh, for letting me check it out and trusting me with it. I'm going to be getting it back to him very soon. So guys, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this one. Uh, is this one you're interested in? These little front flippers are really catching a lot of attention. They they are an easy secondary carry. Uh, they cut well. This one, the blade shape is fantastic. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So guys, thank you for watching. Again, hit that thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and have hit that notification. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.